Um, welcome to another video in this series uh, which attempts to answer the most frequently asked questions about Fantasy Grounds uh, Unity. Uh, in this one we're going to revisit line of sight uh, but this time we're going to add in uh, some uh, NPCs uh, just to show um, what the line of sight does in terms of revealing NPCs and that kind of thing. Uh, so we've got our Dungeon Master screen again. This time we've got uh, two players connected. Uh, and uh, once again we need to uh, go in to uh, get a map. Uh, this one's already got the line of sight. We'll just disable the line of sight for the moment. Um, and the first thing we're going to do here is open up our combat tracker and we're going to get some uh, NPCs. So we'll just drag in a few uh, goblins and we'll uh, put them onto the map uh, just uh, randomly. Stick them on the map somewhere. Put this one down here. That one there's fine. And let's put another one up here just for fun. Get them on the square rather than. There we go. Um, and we're going to just make these uh, goblins uh, visible. Um, we need to put our uh, two players onto the map as well. So let's do that. Um, and then we'll just get rid of the combat tracker because we don't need it. And we can then enable our line of sight. Um, we can share the map with the players and just get rid of that uh, bar. Now you see right away that the last token, because it's selected, um, the last uh, token uh, that I placed um, shows the line of sight for that token. And if I go around as the Dungeon Master and click um, on these tokens, you'll see that each time I click, the line of sight uh, pops in for that particular token. And this is the uh, important point about line of sight, is it's on a per token basis. So this token here isn't seeing what this one is, and this one down here isn't seeing what any of the other ones are. So each token's line of sight is unique to that token. And this applies to uh, the players as well. If we go to our player screen um, and we click on each of these two NPC uh, player characters, you can see that the line of sight is changing slightly uh, as we click between them. And that's because their line of sight is different. If we start to uh, move Braun here, then Braun is revealing more of the map. But when we click back to Pally, then uh, he's just seeing uh, what he can see. He's not seeing any of the area that uh, Braun is seeing. Uh, now, this is partly because I've got two players connected via the local host. I, I don't have two separate players connected. But if I did have two separate players connected, then there is a, a thing here. If we have a look at this right-click menu and go to Visibility, um, we've got the party vision uh, option here and it's it's on by default um, and both of these characters or both of these tokens um, are on the party vision is on and so for the players if because because that is on then they should be seeing so if I look at uh, Pally here and Braun. If I kind of finesse this by not actually selecting either of them, you can see that both tokens see all of the area. So that's really what party vision is, in that um, each token will actually see the uh, area that has been revealed, but they won't be able to see the line of sight, if that is making any kind of sense. Um, so that's what the party vision does, but I can't really demonstrate it properly because I've got two characters um, uh, connected uh, via local host, and we, we would really need to have the two characters uh, connected uh, as two different players for that to be uh, really visible and see what we can see. So at any rate, um, we've got Pally here. So if uh, Pally then moves into the castle a bit more, um, he is immediately going to see uh, Goblin 3. So whenever um, a token comes within the line of sight of another token, 
then that token is revealed. If we go back and look at Bron, you can't see that token there. Only Pally can see it because uh, it's this token is not in Bron's line of sight. Bron uh, is going to have to uh, move until he's in a similar position, and then they both can target this token. And if the if we go to the dungeon master screen, uh, if this goblin were then to move slightly, and we go back to the player screen, we can see that the uh, token has disappeared. The neither of the uh, two part uh, player characters can see the token. Um, they'll have to uh, move in a bit in order to see it again. So whenever a, a token comes into the line of sight of another token, then that token is revealed. And if we move uh, Bron down here a bit, um, again, once he's climbed over this uh, pile of rubble, he can see another goblin. Um, and if he comes down, I uh, can't remember where I put all the other ones now, um, if he opens this door, uh, I can't remember where I put them. Uh, so, oh, there's one up here, I think. Here we go. Uh, so he can now see this one. So whenever he moves around, then he can see, uh, as provided the token is in his line of sight, he can see it. He's moved into this corner here. He can no longer see the two that were down here. And if he can move to there, he can now see this one. And if he keeps on moving down, he can see this one. And it's the same for Pally. Uh, when he moves, he can reveal any tokens, and as long as they're in his line of sight, then he can uh, see them. If they're not in his line of sight, then he's not going to be able to see them. So I think that's as, that, that's the sum total of it, really, is that um, a, a token uh, won't be visible. Um, even if it's visible on the combat tracker, um, then it won't be visible to uh, a player character token. Uh, unless it's in the character's uh, line of sight. And that's really the same. And it's the same thing applies uh, to the uh, monsters. Uh, if I switch over to the DM screen and click on this goblin here, then we can clearly see that bronze in this goblin's line of sight. And if we look at this one here, then this token here can't see either of the player characters. Um, so... Uh, that's that's it really. I think there's there's not really a hell of a lot more uh, that I can say, and I can't demonstrate the party vision thing um, because uh, I'm I'm connected uh, to the same uh, on the same computer. Um, but that will work. That party vision thing uh, will work if you've got two different people connected, um, and you can play around with the party vision until you do you get the right uh, balance for for your game. Uh, okay, I think that's it. Uh, thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Cheers for now.